Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I get this face. This is my go-to face for the past months, okay? I don't even recall how long it's been. Before that video that I put up at the beginning of the week, that glam for no reason, I hadn't put foundation on in forever. Like, I can't even recall before that video the last time I put foundation on, and that's solely because I've just been wearing concealer on my face instead. <laughs> I've been so into this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. I quickly also want to thank Makeup Forever for sponsoring a portion of this video. When they asked if I wanted to try out these new concealers, I jumped at it because you know that I am a super fan of the Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation, and these concealers did not disappoint. I haven't wanted to pick up another concealer since using these. So it's basically what I have on my face. This is a powderless look. I have about four products on, and I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is humidity proof makeup because I wear this look all the time and it really is resilient in this Florida heat. So I could sit here and talk about how great these concealers are all day long, but then I feel like you guys wouldn't watch the video of me doing my actual makeup. So I'm just going to zip it and we're going to get into it. So I'm going to jump right in. Otherwise, I'll just sit here and ramble. And then when it comes down to me doing my makeup, we'll just be sitting here in silence. So I'm going to get my little antennas out of the way. That worked out perfect. So this look is gonna be really quick. I think that I'm using about four products, not including a lip product, because the majority of the time if I do go out somewhere, I'm wearing a mask, so I'm really not worried about my lips, but for the video, we will definitely do a lip. I'm still moisturizing my face with the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity. This is the Long Life Herb Serum. I just love how fast it absorbs into the skin, and it really helps to hydrate the face. So I'm gonna let that sink in. I'm just gonna put on a little balm. Get these lips moisturized okay so the star of this show is going to be the makeup forever matte velvet skin concealers like i was saying in the beginning i am a super fan of the powder foundation and i feel like whatever magic they put in that powder to make you look so flawless they just went ahead and transferred it over here to these concealers so i use two shades i use 2.6 for all over the face and i use 2.3 for underneath the eyes just to really get us bright and popping. I really haven't touched any other concealer foundation since I've been using this. It's full coverage, but it's also breathable on the skin, which is nice. Let me put this on my face and we can chat about it. I just always do this. I just want to ramble on and talk about the goodness, but then I don't do my makeup. Also, I really love the size of the applicator. It is a jumbo doe foot applicator, which really makes it perfect for concealing, correcting, contouring. This is really a multi-use concealer. This is probably way too much. I probably don't need this much. You know what? I'm going to put a little something right there on that little guy. And then I'm just gonna start to work this into the skin. I have a tiny bit of rosacea that's just always popping out on my cheeks. This concealer is really nice at covering redness, blemishes. Like I said, it is full coverage, but it's very breathable. It feels light on the skin. This also has 24 hour wear and is waterproof. Now, when I say waterproof, don't think that I'm gonna go jump in a pool with this concealer on, because that's not what I'm gonna do. But like most of you know, I live in Florida. It is very, very humid here. First of all, look how fast that was. Look how fast that was. I was saying that this concealer is also waterproof. Now, when I think of waterproof products, I think yes, because I live in a very humid climate. It is hot in Florida. It is wet in Florida. You go outside, you melt in Florida. But with this concealer, I don't melt. The other day, I did my face like this, and we ended up painting our front door. Tell me why I still had my makeup on after painting the front door and after taking a shower. Like, that's how long this concealer lasted. Every single time I put this concealer on, I'm just blown away at the amount of coverage I get, and I'm using such a small amount of product. Like, it's so good. All the redness, everything, gone. So I'm gonna add a little more with the shade 2.3, which is for under the eyes. I don't always do this, because sometimes I can just get away with using 2.6, but we're gonna go all out today. Let's get crazy. And then we'll just blend this in as well. This is also the first concealer that I've ever used that I didn't have to set. Let me say that again. This is the first concealer that I've ever used that I didn't have to set, which to me just blows my mind, but I also am so in love with that fact because we all know like sometimes our under eye concealer just looks so snatched and then we'll set it and you're like, hmm, it looked a little bit better before I set it. That is like one of the things that made me love this so much is that I don't have to use any powder because sometimes powder can compromise just how good your skin looks, how fresh it looks. So eliminating the powder from this look 
just keeps it really fresh. Look at the under eye. Look at the under eye. So nice. And the first time I put it on, I was like, is this, what is this, magic? I always take it across my lids too if I'm concealing underneath my eyes just because my lids get a little dark. They got a little redness to them. And then I just like to pull it around my nose too because I just get a little red under there just for added coverage. But hello, we are looking bright. We are looking right. I don't know why every time I say something with the B, I'm like, <laughs> but I do. Look how even toned we are looking. We're looking bright underneath the eyes. If you guys don't remember it looked like a second ago, let me throw up a side by side so that you can see the comparison. Hopefully you can see the little bit of rosacea in my cheeks. I know sometimes it's hard to see because of the lighting, but we are bright. I'm gonna do a little bit of cream bronzing. For a little bit of bronzer, I'm gonna use this cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty and this is in the shade Teddy. And we're just gonna do a little bit of contouring. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend this in. I'm just trying to get some product onto the skin. I'm not really worried about blending when I first apply it. You just wanna kinda create those shadows. I'm gonna take our foundation brush and I'm gonna start to go over just all of this a little more to just blend it better into the skin. I'm gonna use this Kaja Cutie Bento. I love these little guys. This is a cream blush. I use this practically every time I do my makeup. There's two shades, and I just kinda do a combo of each shade. Some What? And I just kinda do a combo of each shade. Sometimes I do one, sometimes I do two, one or the other. It just always changes. This is the lighter shade that I'm adding. And I love a blush. We know that by now, right? Get that finger in there, get that blend going. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the pinkier shade, which is just this darker pink. And then I'm gonna take our foundation brush again, and then just lightly push over all of this to blend it better in, and then just pick up a little bit of extra product. And then also take our concealer brush one more time. Just go under here. But that's it. So I laminated my brows a few weeks ago, but it's kind of wearing off a little bit, but I still can get like a little fluffy brow out of it. And then for the lip, most of the time I would just leave it like this because like I said, we're walking around like this. Oh, you wanna come back down and play? That's fine, you guys can come back down and play. But I'll put a lip on because I like to overline my lips and I like to make them look bigger than they are. So we're gonna use KKW Nude One. This is my go-to lip liner. And then I'll just take my finger and kind of pounce over the line a little bit to soften it because I'm not gonna put a lipstick on or anything. I'm just gonna go in with this Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly. This is in the shade Oat. New favorite. So shiny, not sticky. So here is the final look. It probably took me around 10 minutes to do it. I can probably do this look in like three to five minutes if I'm not sitting here chatting with you guys. I'll throw up a side by side one more time just so you can see how we started and how we ended. I feel like it makes a better impact because sometimes the concealer goes on so fast, it's like, wait, what? So if you guys wanna try out the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealers for yourself, which I highly recommend you do, they are available at Sephora. There are 22 shades and I believe it is 27 dollars full coverage natural matte finish breathable lightweight waterproof 24-hour wear i mean it it deserves a round of applause don't you think <laughs> so that is it for me i don't think i have anything else to tell you guys except i love you and i will see you super soon in another video bye guys